Hey everybody, Mike here. Welcome to the channel and welcome to a first video in a series on 3D Code. I've done videos on 3D Code before, uh, but this is going to be a series of very short videos to keep the topics very clear, very simple, and very understandable. Now, why is that? Well, because 3D Code is a beast. Uh, it contains everything. I mean, if you are into 3D, you are familiar with things like uh, Maya and Blender and ZBrush and Substance Painter and all that stuff, right? 3D Code has it all. Uh, but as a result, the tutorials get complicated fast. So I'm going to keep it simple, right? Now, in this first video, I'm going to talk about why you would consider 3D Code to begin with. Well, besides the cost uh, point of view, because, you know, it's, it's going to save you a lot of money. Uh, let's have a look at the rooms, okay? Now, the first one here is a free PBR uh, materials library. And let me just click on that. And when I say free, it's free, right? And here you go, tons and tons and tons of materials, okay? Now, uh, I'm not going to go into that right now. We're going to do a separate video on that. But just so you know that it's there and it's free, okay? Let me jump back. So that would be the PBR materials library. Now, the website, of course, you can visit their website and check that out, it's all cool. Quick start guide, so interactive tutorials, how to get started and that kind of thing, right? Next, we have surface sculpting. Let's compare that to ZBrush. Now, if I click on that, you can choose uh, basically the object that you wanna start off with, let's say a sphere. It will jump into the sculpting room, as you can see on the top up here. And from here, you can either use the sculpting tools on the left here, or you can hit the space bar. And then you have a full sculpting application, right? Now let's continue in the, the menu that I had just now, because otherwise it gets complicated. So I'm just going to click on a new file. Here we go. So that was the surface sculpting uh, bit, right? Then you have the import image as mesh. So if you have an image that you want to turn into a mesh, uh, you can do that, which is kind of neat. The paint UV mapped mesh per pixel. If you open that up, you can um, open something like this. And then you have the whole setup that you can paint whatever you want, right? You can use smart materials, you have brushes, you have alphas, you have all of that stuff. Very, very cool. Now, again, I don't want to use this menu. I want to use the one that we're looking at. So let's create a new file. Okay, so um, let's see. That was a paint UV mapped mesh. Okay, then we have painting with deep displacement. So micro vertex, which is uh, exactly what it sounds like. You can paint an object uh, with deep displacement. So you are basically creating, let's say, normal maps, right? Of course, the poly modeling room, which is our, uh, our Maya, if you want to call it that, right? Let's go in here. Let's go back to our menu. Um, modeling for 3D printing, which is new, and it's very, very cool. Uh, one of the reasons being that I have a second YouTube channel specifically on 3D printing. So I'm definitely going to use the 3D code for that. And then you have um, a section which is very specific. Not sure whether you're going to use that or not, but it's a product prototyping. So uh, CNC cutting machines, molding machines, laser cutting. I happen to do laser cutting as well. So I'm going to be doing videos on that uh, also. And I'm probably going to be doing that on my third YouTube channel where I do stuff like that. Okay. Here you can check updates. You can visit their YouTube channel. Uh, voxel sculpting. What's the difference between surface sculpting and voxel sculpting? Um, surface sculpting is when you bring in, let's say, a low poly model that you made in Maya, and you basically want to add details on the surface. So adding detail to your existing model. Voxel sculpting is uh, sculpting from scratch, and you're not uh, sculpting polygons, you're sculpting voxels. And because of the Retopo room in 3D Code, you can uh, turn that into uh, poly uh, polys in no time, right? 
uh, repairing a scanned mesh. So if you have the photogrammetry, right, uh, you typically have a lot of artifacts and issues, and this is the way to clean that up. Vertex painting and uh, painting uh, PTEX. These two I don't know a lot about, to be honest. Um, I will be diving into it, but I first need to make sure that I know what I'm talking about, okay? Now, the Retopa Room. Retopa Room is very, very powerful, um, and it works well, and it uh, works clean, which is important. If you don't know what Retopo is, it's basically to take a mesh that is not ideal and to create a new uh, topology, right? Okay, so kit bashing. Kit bashing is basically taking a model and adding a lot of small details to it, right? To give it a certain look and feel. And uh, yeah, the kit bashing room is right here. Again, I'm not gonna go into it in this video, but just so you know that that option is available, okay? Let's go back to our original menu. There you have it. But even though uh, I did that, you can see that you can uh, address all the rooms from here, right? But I'm going to do it this way. Okay, so what else have we got? Um, kit bashing UV map mesh. Now that's probably one of the most powerful things in the whole 3D code. Uh, it, it literally makes UV mapping easy. It's, uh, I would almost say a, a three button click and you're done, okay? And then finally, open recent projects. So hopefully this video gives you a little idea of what's available in 3D code and why you would consider it. That's it for the first video. In the next video, we're gonna go through poly modeling basics, how to create a, a, a poly object, how to scale it, how to extrude it, how to bevel it, that kind of thing, right? See you guys there, bye.